saw the road crews out there behind mm. AJ. MassDOT crews have more than 1,800 pieces of equipment on the roads right now working to handle this storm. Joining us live on the phone right now, MassDOT Highway Administrator Jonathan Gulliver. Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us. The first real big test for your teams out there today. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me on. And, and this storm right now is pretty much meeting and exceeding expectations. And really the message of the day is to stay off the roads if you can. It's, a, it's going to be very tough driving right now. We expect it to get much worse over the next few hours into late morning and early afternoon. It's going to be, you're going to see the most intense part of this storm hitting. So in particular, you can expect to have limited visibility, very slippery driving, and you should expect that most roadways are going to be snow and slush covered for quite some time today. Yeah, that's the message we've been trying to get out this morning is if you don't have to be out on the roads, don't go out on the roads. But of course, we're watching all these pictures and people are out on the roads because they do have places to be. So how has it been for you and your crews to keep up with this storm, given the rate of the snowfall, as well as uh, we've been talking about these issues with driver shortages? Yeah, we, we are in pretty good shape as far as uh, number of equipment goes. We have about 2,500 pieces out right now. Uh, we've ramped up over the last uh, couple of hours, and we have the ability to bring out as much as 3,800 on. So we're, we're feeling pretty good about where we are as far as uh, our equipment and our ability to, to get on top of this storm. But it is going to be difficult, especially with that traffic and for plows to keep up with this rate of snowfall. The next, next few hours especially are going to be tough. That was going to be my question about the timing of this storm, Jonathan. Does that provide your crews with the obvious additional challenges? It, it does. And, you know, you, you see uh, one of the things that we've seen across the country just recently is that when you have traffic trying to mingle with plows, it can really be difficult for those roadways to get clear. We certainly have not seen a situation like they've had elsewhere, and we don't expect to with this. But really the message is stay away from the plows and really give them all the room they need to operate because they're going to get the pavement clearer faster if you're not in their way.